welcome back to Tactical Talks. So this video, I want to show you guys something that's going to be a fairly quick video. Just something that you guys should think about and maybe get in the habit of doing whenever you're training. So we're going to be talking about one hand manipulations, as you can tell by the thumbnail. So the first technique I want to show you guys is very simple. Anyone, any and everyone should be able to know how to do this already when you're handling your gun. So in a worst case scenario situation, you have one arm go down. In this scenario, we're going to play it out as your support hand goes down. So we're just going to keep this hand in, keep it off to the side or however you want to do it. Um, before we get into all of that real quick, this is the Wolfpack logo with the thin blue line flag in it. So this is the newest shirt that I have available. Check the link down below if you guys want this shirt. Then if you see on the back, it says the Wolfpack has my back. So if you guys want one of these, check the link down below. But I figured I would just show you guys that because that's what I'm wearing right now, just in case anybody is wondering about that. So the first technique for one hand manipulations is going to be you're out, you're shooting, you're shooting. Now, before we go too far, the gun is clear. There is no magazine inserted. So you're shooting, you're shooting, you're shooting. Now I need to reload. I only have one hand. How am I going to do that? Well, your sights here, these are just standard Glock sights. Whatever sights you have on here should work. And if you have a red dot, if you have a quality red dot, then you can do it with the red dot as well. So you're firing, 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 come down, put those sights on something, and then pull it back. Now, with the magazine in there, of course, it'll lock that back. So you pull that back, you're in. Now I need to get a new magazine, put it in the gun. So the gun now goes into my holster. I pull out another magazine, put the magazine in, come back up kick that slide forward and we're good to go. So all done, one-handed. That's the back in the holster, one-hand manipulation. So that one's very easy to do, very simple to do. The next one is going to be, let's just say you're carrying, you're, you don't have a duty belt rig, you're not a, on the outside. So let's just say you appendix carry or maybe you carry behind your back. It's gonna be a lot harder with one hand to empty that gun, end up lock back like this, it's gonna be a lot harder to try to lift your shirt up, get back into your holster. Meanwhile, flagging yourself, then if you bump the slide release, this thing coming down, pinching yourself. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna get the gun and you're gonna point it kind of this way outwards and you're gonna pinch it between your legs. And I know you guys, it's hard to see, it's kind of out of frame, but you're pinching it between your knees and you're pinching the top part of the slide right here. And the reason why we do that, when we pinch the top part of the slide, is one, to hold that slide in place, but two, it prevents that muzzle from pointing at our legs. So you hold it down there with whatever hand is good, you pull out that magazine, put that magazine in, come up, boom, we're ready to go, we're back on target again. So the third one is a lot like the second one, with the exception of, let's just say I'm in a situation where my slide is locked back. I've now run out of ammo. I need to dump this magazine. Well, I'm in a combat situation essentially because I'm firing. I don't want to just stand here and stay a target and put my gun here or put my gun here and continue to be a target the entire time. So if you give me a second, I'm going to move the camera down so you guys have a little bit better angle and I'll show you how to do the next one. All right, guys. So. I know kind of a weird angle, but hopefully you guys will get a better visual on this. So like I said, instead of putting the gun here and getting another magazine, putting the magazine in, or instead of going into your holster, another option is in order to keep yourself safe, you're firing, your gun empties out. What you do is you take a knee and you put this behind your leg right here, grab your other magazine, throw your magazine in, stand back up, come in, you're good to go. Now, out of habit, I just brought my support hand in. But of course, one-hand manipulations, you come back up, you're firing again. So those are three kind of techniques, three little drills that you guys can try out in order to uh, get a little bit better as far as shooting and practicing if that hand goes down. So kind of as a quick little added bonus, it's not the easiest thing in the world to shoot an AR with one arm, but in a live combat situation, if you need to, we all know you're going to do whatever you have to do in order to ensure that you continue to put rounds down range to save yourself or save somebody else. So when you're shooting your AR here, you can do a multitude of things. You can come down, like we talked about before, hold here, and the same exact drill that we just did with our pistol, 
you can come down, kneel, hold there, reach across, grab a magazine, put a magazine in, come back up, and we're ready to shoot again. So hopefully you guys learned something from that. I know, like I said, this video is gonna be nice, short, sweet. Now, the hard thing to do is trying to practice doing that with your left hand. I can tell you right now that if I had to pull my gun out of this side with my left hand, it's possible. Just doesn't end up exactly how I want it. You don't have a good, easy draw. It's complicated. So that's something that I need to start practicing more myself and something that you should keep in mind. That's worst case scenario if your strong hand goes down, but be able to at least get the gun out at that point, I can turn, manipulate, and shoot. Now, if you've never done it before, try to practice releasing that magazine left-handed, hitting that slide release. Um, see, it's even harder to do to just lock it back for me. But hit that slide release left-handed and get that back in. So you can practice the drills as far as putting the gun between your legs. This one obviously wouldn't necessarily make too much sense to try to go back into the holster since it was hard to take out to begin with but maybe drop it down, put it behind your leg, grabbing another magazine, and then practice using your finger to push the slide back forward and get back into the fight. So nice, easy, simple video. Techniques I wanted to kind of show you guys. Keep that in mind. Go out and practice it next time you're out on the range. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to all my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.